Hello there, it's me Carl Welshman, your buddy. And today I'm gonna to be drinking an enhanced non-alcoholic hazy pale ale plus social blend trademark from Impossibrew. We believe that alcohol free should never mean pleasure free. That's why we spent almost two years developing our social blend for you to enjoy a healthier yet uncompromising way to unwind, unwind. Brewed with social blend, powered by plants, vegan, brewed for the mind. Active ingredients, low calorie for the mind. Our social pale is the first enhanced beer of its kind, brewed with nootropics and aptogens, creating a unique way for your mind to unwind. Am I gonna end up fucking stoned? Thin in superfood for a moment of calm. Griffonius contains 5 HTP, soothe the mind, vitamins, developed with plant scientists and expert breweries. Tropical fruity notes of peach, pineapple, and mango, coupled with a lasting citrus finish. At very low temperatures, the result is a hazy, fluffy, and exceptionally full body pale ale. Non alcoholic beer with added botanicals and vitamins. So it is a lot going on on the back of the tin there. Um, I'm going to do this in two parts. I'm going to uh, do a little initial taste test and then I'll come back and let you know whether I feel any sort of effect whatsoever. I've not had any uh, alcohol today. I've had no alcohol. Pop this open. A little bit of smoke from the tin there. You usually get that from an alcoholic beverage. Wow, it, it actually smells exactly like a pale ale. That's interesting. So it's got all of the, the sniffs and aromas of the uh, tropicalness. Mmm. 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 Here we go. A little hazy, a little chunk of something in there. Just a little chunk swimming around. That doesn't bother me. It smells bloody great. It smells exactly like an IPA. Okay, well, I'm gonna go in for a taste. very floral. It's nice. It is nice. It says it, I should be getting notes of peach, pineapple and mango coupled with a, a lasting citrus finish. Really getting the peach. I don't get that very often in an IPA. Usually it's just, you know, mango. Um, but it's, it is quite peachy. And peach is really coming through in the sniffs now as well. Sniff, sniff. Sniff. Yeah, peachy. Nicely carbonated, quite fizzy. I'm finding a lot of the non-alcohol to low alcohol beers are, are quite gassy. Um, this one's no exception. I can actually feel it. Hang on. Oh. I don't know what happened there. Uh, oh, it just kind of stuck there. I, I gotta be careful because I had a, um, a a fried breakfast a good few hours ago, but I had quite a lot and I had a bit of bread and butter. So I made a couple of sandwiches. So I wanna be careful that I'm not actually, uh, <coughs> let's have another, have another little. Mm. Carbonated. Do you know, I, I've, I've definitely had maybe a couple of session IPAs, which are not too far off that sort of flavor and that kind of mildness, mild, 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 mildness, to be honest. So, um, yeah, that's, that's quite nice. I'm going to come back after I finish this uh, to give the final verdict because I want to see whether I get any sort of feeling from the uh, social blend. So 
actually quite nice for a, a non-alcoholic beer. It's it's as close as I've had, I think, to a proper IPA flavour. Not getting any active ingredients from this yet. Oh, it's gassy. It's very gassy. Ugh. It's kind of like... Um, it's not a citrusy finish. It, it, it kind of feels almost like diluted. Like diluted orange. Um, but like I can taste it here. Not not in my mouth. Yeah, so let's, let's, go. let's just finish this up, alright? I guess like alcohol, unless you're drinking something potent, it's going to take a bit of time for there to be any sort of an effect. So, um... I'll be back in about 10 minutes and we'll uh, we'll see if, if there's any sort of social feeling because, you know, social blend, I should be feeling sociable. I finished the uh, glass of Impossible Brew beer. Um, I don't feel any more social. I feel a bit sleepy, but that might be because I was sitting out in the sunshine there and it is flaming boiling out there. Proper boiling. But... I gotta give credit where credit is due. It was it was a tasty beer. Was it worth the price? I don't know because I can't remember how much it is. But overall, it's a tasty beer. Um, particularly for an alcohol-free beer, it was quite close to an IPA. So um, I'll give it that. Um, I'd say. This is absolutely perfect if you were running some sort of a nursery or a, a creche and the kids are playing a little game of dress up and they want to pretend that they're in the pub. You just pop open a couple of cans of Impossible Brew, pour it into their little beakers and let them have a little sip, sip, sip like that. Belch, fart, maybe have a little scrap, play some darts, a bit of pool, put some Elvis Presley on the jukebox and just have a right old great morning whilst the people running the nursery play group or crash have some real beers and get down to some proper antics. Impossible Brew Enhanced Non-Hazy Pale, Pale Plus Social Blend. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a seven out of 10.